Hey guys, today I want to show you something that you usually don't see within a 3D printer. Uh, we're actually going to di dissect the actual G code that goes on the memory card that then goes into the machine or can be sent from the computer directly. So, uh, without further ado, let's hit it and let's see what a G code contains. Hey, so we're now in the Simplify 3D um, using version 3.0.1. Anyways, I'm not going to go in with all the tools here, but I really like Simplify because you can actually uh, visualize G code really cool. So you can see the code. Uh, I have here is the process, normal. I'm using a Ultimaker in this case, a ABS material. Let's just ignore those settings and actually look what happens. So first of all, we slice this file. So slicing the model. I think that most of you are pretty well, um, you've probably seen something like this before, but otherwise what's, what's actually happening now is that we're seeing the G-code, we're seeing a visualization of the actual code. So when I zoom in here, you can actually see that there's a lot of small lines, which is pretty cool. So all these small lines end up being a 3D Benchy model. So what we can do here is we can actually skip through the layers so we can go down here, go through the model, see what happens. But what's really cool is that we can actually, yeah, we can go layer by layer as well. So you can um, distinguish each layer. But this is great for, for explaining how, for example, here, what an infill is. So you can see here, we're using the coloring of feature types. So orange, let's go, that's infill. We have the green, that's solid layer. We have blue, dark blue, that's outer perimeter. Light blue is inner perimeter. So we can actually see all of these different types of commands. And if you want, you can, you can see these here and you can see if there is a problem area or when you have printed your 3D bench, you can see, hmm, this doesn't look good. And then you can go back and you can see which, which layer that was or what, what, what sort of um, area or, or feature it was. And you can then adjust settings for just that. Anyways, I'm not here to talk about the, uh, the visualization here. I'm actually here to talk about the G code, in, at least in this episode. So. Before I deep, deep dive into the G code here, I just want to show you uh, another here. You can preview by line. So now I can actually see each line being built up. So this here, th this gray tool that simulates a nozzle. So if I click here now, you see I have a line selected. I can actually go every line. So you see each time I click one, two, three, four, five, that actually shows each single command for the uh, um, for the movement here. Another cool thing that you that explains why the G codes are so massive of, of files. You see these circles here. They're actually not circles. They're just steps. So we have here um, uh, different steps within the circle. So this movement here should be round, rounded, but there's not a lot of there's not enough of stepping here. So you actually see here that each circle is just a few steps. So it's like a resolution in, in the, the circle movement. And that gets really clear when we, um, for example, we go over here. So when I click now, one, two, three, four, five. So each step here is one command to, to create a single line. Anyways, this here was just saved as a G code. I'm not gonna jump into G code and let's actually check out what's happening. So we start off here. Um, what's cool with Simplify is that it summarizes all your settings. So you have here a setting summary. So in case of your uh, computer crashes, you don't have your profiles anymore, or the sync doesn't work, you can always back up your geocodes or maybe they're even on your printer. You can then see what settings you were using. So for example, here, this is the model, model 3 Dimension. We have a profile line called Ultimaker 2. This is the version, the base profile. We're using ABS, medium quality. Uh, extruders, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, also a curiosity, so this here means that it's a comment. So that's actually normal text, it's not a, a commando. So when your uh, 3D printer reads this line, it doesn't <laughs> read May uh, 9, 2016 at 8.45. It, it doesn't read that since it's a comment line. So let's go down here. This is all still just a setting summary. So it could be very interesting, but not in this case. Now. This is what can really fool you. I mean, this here, it's still the comments, just a lot of comments on, uh, on, on this line. 
also down here it has different codes so the ending code so if for some i mean some people are adding like celebration songs and so on so you hear him have a celebration song random song blah 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 i think that's pretty cool let's go down past the comments here we go now we're actually doing something so g90 that's a code that's a g code not gangster code yeah you know g code so actually that means set to absolute position now if you want to just go along here and you want to paint past the movie uh, and you want to see what all these tools mean uh, means all the different commands i re recommend that you go to reprap.org slash wiki slash g code by the way i'm just going to cancel this here um, because it takes up a lot of memory i just want to make sure that we're still recording looks good i think yep Sorry about that. So you can go to reprap.org slash wiki slash g dash code. When you go there, you can see all the different G codes. Pretty cool that you also see some heritage from CNC milling. So there's actually a G code for CNC milling, such things like uh, mist coolant, change tools, uh, vacuum on, vacuum off, and so on. Anyways, so G90, that means um, set to absolute positioning. So we're now setting up the coordinate system and then we have a command called M80. And that means that the power is on. Sorry, 82, 82, not 80. 82 means set extruders to absolute mode. That also means that they're, they're now within the coordinate system, more or less. Then we have another command, M106, set zero. Hmm, what does that mean? So one and oh six. That's the fan. So we're now setting the fan to speed zero. So fan for first layer should be zero, in this case with ABS. So M140, then that actually means that we're now setting the uh, set the bed temperature. So we're now setting the bed temperature. So this command, set the bed temperature. Next, next up, that's the value for this command. We're now setting up 100 degrees. Now, one M190 also goes for 100 degrees. Hmm, do we have two heated beds? No, actually, these commands mean that we're now waiting for the temperature to reach 100. Otherwise, this machine will only keep reading the codes uh, until it, it's, it's told to pass. So in this case, we're now passing until the heated bed reaches 100 degrees. We don't want the extruder to start heating before that, and we don't want uh, the print to start when you don't have any temperatures up. So this could be an interesting command to, to learn about if you do some troubleshootings. Anyway, next up we have the M14 command. So that's actually heating the extruder. We're now heating it to 230 degrees. T1, that's the, yeah, that's the value. And then we have T0. That means that we, we're using the tool head zero. So in this case, on Ultimaker 2, we only have one extruder. If we had a dual extruder or a triple extruder, we would have T0, T1, and T2, and so on. This here again it means that we're now waiting for this temperature to be reached. So we're now waiting for 230 degrees. And when all that is done, we're not doing a command here where, where we um, increase the power to the extruder. We don't want the extruder to just sit there and, and be powered to do nothing uh, while everything heating. We need all the power for the heater. So now we're, oops, now we're doing that. Then we have this command, G28. That means that we're now homing all the axis so remember that I told you about um, this command line here, this comment. That means that past this line, you can write whatever you want just to comment. And then on the next row, you have the command and you have a comment about it. So G28, home all axis. That's, a, that's the command. It actually means uh, move to origin or which is home. So we're moving all the positions to home. Um, and remember when we're doing that, you know these uh, uh, end stops on your extruder, uh, sorry, in your printer, that the, the clicky buttons that you have in each axis, um, when they click, that becomes the home for that axis. Anyways, moving on, along, G1, hmm, that seems like a, a simple code, one of the first codes. So G1 actually means linear move. So it means that we're moving in a line, more or less. X20, that's the position that we want to move to. So we're moving to X axis in 20, and we're moving to Y axis in 10. And this F command, that actually means the uh, feed rate per minute, or I would say speed. So I'm gonna refer to that as speed. So we're moving in 3,000 3, millimeters per minute. And you can also see here the comment, it says bring a to the front. 
We have G92, zero the extruders. We're now uh, zeroing all the extruders. Uh, liner movement Z1. We're now moving the Z axis to 10 millimeters, or yeah, to this, this value. We then go to purge nozzles. We do a retract. Um, th this here is the extrude value. So we're now um, the, the extruder's um, value. I'm just gonna skip here ahead. If you wanna pause and, and go through it, all of these small commands, you can do that. I'm just gonna skip ahead down here to, um, to this one. So first of all, we have the G1 liner movement, Z axis. We're do going to this value with this speed. So that also that is now the comment that layer one Z is uh, 0.195. So you can see here you see the similarity. Now this is just a comment. All this here is a comment. So if you want to search in your um, your machine or you want to add like a pause command and so on, I mean, if you really want to trick your G code, you can do that. So you, you can uh, from Simplify you can do Control F and you say layer layer one. That's where I want to put in a pause code. So you could then if you want to. Uh, put in a postcode wherever you want to do that, but do that on your own risk. Anyways, after that we have um, T1, that's tool, tool zero. Um, and then it's time for the skirt command. So, so this summarizes what's happening next. So we're going to do a skirt, remember, just a comment. So G1, now we're actually starting to move. So we're doing, um, we're moving to this position with this speed, and then we're doing a extrude with uh, this speed. So we're now extruding, extruding filament, or sorry, we're not because there's a zero. G92 E0. Uh, so G92, that was the um, homing, so setting position. So we're now setting the position for the extruder. Now we're actually starting with the first line. So that means that we're now doing the G1, so liner movement to this position and this position in, in X and in Y. And then with a extrude rate or uh, yeah, and extrude this amount. So move the extruder, the stepper motor in the extruder by this amount with this speed. And then we'll continue with the next lines. So we're now moving to a new position. So you can see it's a really small movement. It's 0 0.03 millimeters of a movement. Really, really small. And also it's just 0 0003 um, of, of the extruders. So we're really extruding small amounts of plastic. Anyways, all of these lines here, this actually means one single movement. So I'm going to skip back here into Simplify 3D. I'm going to re-slice it here. And I just want to show you that exact small movement. So I'm going to go almost to the first ones. I'm going to click here ahead a little bit so we can see the first lines. Oops. Mm, there's a few codes, a few lines that we need to move past first. But we should soon see the raft. Oh, sorry, the. There we go. So I'm just going to skip back here to almost the first line, uh, which is pretty cool here. You can see that that we're. I'm going to try to get closer. So, whoa. So I'm just going to step back. So each of these here are one row in the code in the film. Uh, sorry, in the document here. So each movement, each step I'm doing is one of these. One of these is reading along and reading along and reading along. But what's really interesting is that you can actually see what's happening. So we have here positions, but then you see really small positions. So that this is all probably a rounded corner or similar. But then suddenly we're jumping from X90 to X114. So that's probably one of these longer movements like that one. So you see that it goes from, let's imagine that this is X90 and it goes to X114. It's probably the other way around because we're looking at this one in the, in the actual code. But you get the concept. So we're gonna move along here. You can see that suddenly it goes to 80 millimeters and then I can here we have a bigger movement again. But usually if I just scroll down here, the codes are really, really close to each other. Each value is really, really close. Uh, here we have something fun. We had extruded to zero. So we're now uh, having an another position here of the extruding. But let's just move it on along quickly. Uh, now we have a new comment, inner parameter. So we're now actually finished with the um, with the the brim, and it's now time to do the inner parameter. Yeah, as you can see, it's a long, long document. So I'm gonna go down here, and I'm actually gonna try to skip to next part. Let's see here. 
when do we get to the next part? I'm actually going to cheat. I'm going to do the command that I learned you. So layer two. So now you see here that um, what's happening here is that we're finishing off the first layers. We're doing all the movements. Move here in this position with this speed, and with this speed, with this speed. This is actually something that's called coasting um, because we're not extruding anything in these here. Anyways, here you see comments, comments, comments. Um, we now do the inner parameter again on the first layer, or sorry, on layer two. So the first thing that we want to do is that we move to a position and we uh, we raise the Z axis. Well, now this is one of the few Z movements. It's actually doing really, really few Z movements. And now we're doing everything again. I'm gonna skip down to layer three. You can now see that we're, we're doing this um, movement here again. So we're moving Z to a new position. And then we can go, let's go to layer 54 and see what happens. So we're now at 8.145 millimeters. Cool. So I'm just gonna skip along here. Let's go to the end. Oops, I'm gonna kick this file again because I don't need it anymore. And this is the end, so layer end. Huh, cool. Now we have a G28 command, which means begin write SD card. That is pretty interesting that we're writing to the XD card. Hmm. I don't know why it's doing that. It's writing X value, X zero. So, the, oh, okay, it's homing the axis. Sorry about that. M14, remember that was the heaters, temperature zero. That means that we're turning off the heaters. M140 to value zero, it's turning off the bed. M84, we're now disabling the motors again. And then we have here the comment, the build sum summary. Pretty cool, right? So that's actually a complete G code. Um, I don't have any tools here, I think, to, sorry about the Swedish language here. I don't think that I have any tools here to like show you the amount of rows or something, but just scrolling along here, it's pretty long, pretty, pretty long. But I hope that learned you a little bit. I hope you enjoyed um, going through the G codes with me. Um, if there's any other codes, I mean, maybe let's say you want to check out, you know, okay, we don't have any cool codes, but maybe you want to do your own code or you want to do some, some cool kick-ass commando, I recommend that you go again to reprap.org slash wiki slash g dash code. You can see it here in the description and in the comments as well. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of a deep dive into the G code universe and see all the cool commands that you can do. Um, so hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Let's talk about new stuff soon. So stay subscribed. See ya. Bye.